All right, ladies, germs, non-binary duders, we got patch notes. So Pokemon Unite has been out going on two weeks now, I think. Time is a construct. Uh, but, but uh, our last update, we got a new Pokemon. We got a Gardevoir, but we didn't get any further changes to the game. Everybody was hoping for a week one balance patch, too bad. This now is the balance patch that you're getting. Balance patch, I don't know why I can't say that. Um, the patch isn't out yet, it will come out on the 4th. Today, right now, as I'm speaking to you, it is the 2nd. If you're watching this in the future, it's the 2nd. This will come out on the 4th. So this is what we know as of right now on August uh, 2nd. So server update will be performed on August 4th at 12 a.m. So midnight Pacific, seven o'clock uh, UTC, whatever that is, but uh, midnight Pacific. There you go, soon, but not today. So when we read these patch notes, if you are, a, we're, I was just talking about this with Twitch chat. If you are a mobile player coming from another game or honestly a player of any other game anywhere, uh, these patch notes are probably not going to look like any patch notes you are familiar with. They are not detailed and a little bit vague. Uh, rumor has it that when the patch actually comes out, we will get definitive numbers for these things. But also don't be surprised if we don't, because Nintendo does cater uh, a lot of their things to a younger audience. So having patch notes that are a little less technical and a little more Probably worded might be intentional but knowing that going in let's take a look so we have bug fixes text fixes spectate feature test release a test release of the spectate feature will be performed from the fourth to the sixth so they're they're getting that spectate mode that you would expect to use for things like your tournament observer or just spectating your friends they're gonna start testing that which is awesome I know a lot of people who are looking for tournament games and this this is what they need. Uh, so that's cool. There'll be a two-day test on that, and then it will be removed while they work on the feature uh, from, hi, Nox, from the information they gather during the test. So here are some changes to be made to some Pokemon stats and move to adjust the balance. So this is the actual meat of the balance patch, and this is where it's going to look different from other games. Charizard, flamethrower, cooldown reduced, effects on opposing Pokemon strengthened. Reduced to what? They're not going to tell you. I do imagine once this patch hits, uh, some really smart folks will get into the game, either using data mining techniques or just playing in like bot games and get us some actual hard numbers if Nintendo doesn't themselves. But for now, what we know is the cooldown is reduced and the effect, so the damage is increased. Fire punch, effect on opposing Pokemon strengthened. Fire blast, cooldown reduced, effect strengthened. So Charizard's getting a buff. We can just look at this and say, too long, didn't read, Charizard buff. Talonflame, acrobatics, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon increased. Aerial Ace, damage dealt increased. Aerial Ace plus, damage dealt increased again. And Fly, uh, damage dealt once again increased. Increased down the board, Talonflame is getting buffed. How much? We don't know, but it's a buff. So if you like Talonflame or Charizard, that's great. There's a lot, so strap in. Venusaur, Sludge Bomb, Damage Dealt Increased, Effect Strengthened, Petal Dance, uh, Move Upgrade, <laughs> Solar Beam, Cooldown Reduced, Unite Move, Verdant Anger, Damage to uh, Opposing Pokemon Increased. So this is a buff for Venusaur. I really don't know what this means for Petal Dance. I really don't know what that means, but I assume it's it's an increase because everything else is an increase, but that is just as vague as it gets. Okay, Absol, bug fixes. I don't know what they are, but if you know Absol has a bug, it might be fixed. Night Slash, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon increased. Sucker Punch, damage dealt increased. So Absol's damage is increased and some bug somewhere is fixed. Uh, if you know what the Absol bug or bugs were, let me know. I haven't heard much about Absol, but free, feel free to comment if you know what it is. Uh, but something is fixed, so I guess we're gonna call that good. Wigglytuff, I have a, I have a tough relationship with Wigglytuff right now. 
following stats have been increased. Defense, special defense, and HP. I like this because I feel like Wigglytuff is too squishy. So Wigglytuff is going to be a little tougher. Double slap. Damage dealt increase. Effects on, a po on opposing Pokemon strengthened. Sing. Effect. Strengthened. Dazzling gleam. Fixed. Bug fix. Again, what is it? Bugged? I don't know. But this is a buff for Wigglytuff. I have seen Wigglytuff do some really cool things when other people are playing her, but overall I felt like she is too weak. Uh, specifically that she's too squishy to be a melee character, but she is getting buffed in the defense department, so maybe that will make her better. Uh, Sing getting buffed. Sing is probably one of the strongest things about her. That CC is really good and that's getting strengthened. I assume for Sing that's going to have to mean the duration is going to be increased. Uh, I can't think of how else you would strengthen Sing. Uh, probably good. Now we're going to get to the one that hurts me. Hurts me hard. My main, Eldegoss. Carton Guard. Cooldown lengthened. HP restoration decreased. Ouch. A nerf. Cotton Spore, though. Cooldown reduced. Effects on opposing Pokemon strengthened. This move's defense and special defense increase has been strengthened. So while Cotton Guard got a nerf, Cotton Spore got a buff. So some of that power is moved out of Cotton Guard, which is really easy. You just mash it. It's the shield that just goes out. And some of that power has been moved into Cotton Spore, which is the skill shot one. Um, okay, not great because her, her power is less easy to use. It, this does give her more damage, which I guess is good uh, if you're landing your Cotton Spore on opposing Pokemon. But, you know, it's probably fair. It does kind of hurt, though, since she is still currently the only healer in the game. So seeing a nerf of any kind to the only healer is kind of tough. There's nothing you can move to. If you, if you want healing or you like healing, this is all you've got. So that's a little tough. Uh, further for Eldegoss, her Unite move Cotton Cloud Crash, uh, HP restoration decreased. So the heal off of her Unite move, her Heroic or Alt, has been decreased. It is a very powerful Unite move, so it probably deserved this, but that is sad for us Eldegoss mains. And um, again, there's no other healer. I know there's rumors out there and maybe some data mines, but as of right now, she is the only healer and she just got nerfed, so sad for me. All right, speaking of sad for me, sad for my pal Mockery, maybe. Cinderace, the following stats have been decreased. Attack. Decreased by what? We don't know. But Cinderace's attack, so damage has been decreased. Uh, Blaze Kick, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon decreased. Faint, move downgrade. I really don't know how to interpret that, but uh, Pyro Ball, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon increased. So Pyro Ball damage increased, overall damage decreased, Blaze Kick damage decreased. This is probably a nerf overall for Cinderace's damage. Really hard to say though, because I don't know what this means. Um, yeah, but I'm just, I'm gonna guess it's probably a nerf and probably a Cinderace nerf. This one makes it kind of weird because we've got two nerfs and one buff. So it could just be like a reallocation of damage or it could be an overall nerf, really depending on what this means. Let me know what you think, I guess. Gengar, bug fixes. I don't know what was bugged with Gengar, but it's fixed. Good to know. Shadow Ball, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon increased. Hex, move downgrade. Three meter, move downgrade. This is so hard to look at critically because I just, I don't know what that means. I think Hex would be nerfed because Hex is pretty OP with Sludge Bomb. But man, I don't know. Hex spam is really strong. I don't know what move downgrade is supposed to mean. That's even more vague than like damage dealt decreased. Move downgrade. All right. At least we know they're addressing bugs. Again, Zera Aura, Spark, Bug Fix. I'm glad they're addressing bugs. I wish I knew what they were. I'm really hoping that we get some adva advanced patch notes once this patch comes out, but we're just gonna persevere and see what else we can glean here. Wild Charge. Damage dealt to opposing Pokemon increased, cooldown reduced. Unite move. Plasma Gale. Damage dealt to opposing Pokemon decreased. 
So besides the mysterious bug fix, Wild Charge was buffed and the Unite move was nerfed. I don't know if Wild Charge was the meta pick uh, for Zara Aura. Maybe they're just trying to uh, balance out Zara Aura's moves more, make one more attractive, one that's less picked. I All right, uh, Cramorant, Whirlpool, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon decreased. Dive, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon increased. So just a little shift in power there for Cramorant. I love Cramorant on my team. I think he's really good and he'll probably still be good after this. We got another bug fix coming in from Machamp. Something is fixed on Machamp's basic attack. I have not seen a lot of Machamp's in any of my games. Uh, cross chop, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon decreased. A little bit of a nerf there. Close combat, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon increased. So I feel like that's probably the same kind of thing where they're taking power from one place and putting it in, a, in another to try to balance out the pick rate of his moves, but uh, without numbers, it's hard to say. Lucario, power up punch, bug fix, bone rush, another bug fix. So we have quite a few bugs. And that's not even all of them because Greninja also had his basic attacks fixed in some way. And Alola Ninetales, Snow Warning, also had a bug fix. <laughs> so a lot of bugs here. I, we don't know what they are, but they're fixed now. So that's good. Some notable uh, Pokemon that got no changes were Snorlax and also Slowbro uh, were not changed. Also, Mr. Mime didn't have any changes, and we've seen some really powerful Mr. Mime play out there. So if you've gotten comfortable with any of those Pokemon, they did not see any changes. Apparently, they don't have any bugs, but if they do, they're unfixed, but who knows? Uh, yeah, those are the changes. I don't know who the biggest winners are going to be here. Right at the top, Charizard and Talonflame did have some pretty substantial buffs to a bunch of moves, so maybe those guys. I do think the Wigglytuff buff is interesting, and I'll be checking that out. Uh, Kressel, correct. Kressel was also not changed, so that could be good. Uh, Eldegoss, sad about some of the nerfs. Especially this one. I don't know. You felt really powerful when you used it. It'll probably still be good. I hope some of the rumors are true and we're seeing another healer, though. If Aldegas is already getting nerfed, we could really use some other healers to have some choices. But that's what we have so far. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to revisit this on the 4th and get some advanced patch notes that have actual numbers. Or if not, if Nintendo slash the Pokemon Company slash Tencent doesn't bless us with some more meaty patch notes, then maybe some uh, nice data inclined players can get out there and find the actual numbers. But there you go. That's going to be the first balance patch for Pokemon Unite that'll be out in just a couple days. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the AO Stadium.